Well, we are about 15 miles outside of Lafayette, Louisiana. I go to school in Lafayette, and uh, I have my dad driving his minivan. He's somewhere up there, and uh, we got a bunch of stuff in the back too. That was a rock. That did not sound good. Um, Kyle, go ahead and show in the back. So that's that's like a tenth of what we brought to the apartments uh, here in Louisiana, and I'm a little concerned about the computer back there. That's a $1,500 computer, and. Uh, I, you know, anything that I have to replace is going to be out of my own pocket. So I'm really hoping that nothing is wrong with that. Now, I, I say that because this car that I just bought, if you follow me on Twitter, you don't know what it is, the Hyundai Veloster Turbo, has a really tightly tuned suspension. So every single tiny bump that, you're, that you go over uh, in this car, you feel to, to the greatest extent. Like, uh, I've driven an Audi R8, I've driven a GTR, I've driven Corvettes. I haven't felt a suspension as tight as this one before, uh, and so I'm concerned that that computer is just being tossed up and down, a bunch of little micro stutters up and down like that. Not good for the water cooler radiator in there, uh, not good for the graphics car which is just screwed in on one end uh, and kind of being held up by the PCIe slot at the same time. So uh, we'll see. We're going to unpack everything. It's going to take all day. I'll set up the system tonight and uh, hopefully I can have this video up soon. So uh, let's go ahead. And well, I guess we're going to the apartment. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. That would be smart. Okay, so we are in the new room. This is where everything's going to be. For the most part, maybe make a few changes after the fact. But uh, you can see I bought this L-shaped desk here. This is from Amerawood. This is their included manual. And uh, my dad and I just set this up. Dad's on his way home, but I've got a lot of uh, wiring to do, especially uh, right there. That's where the computer's gonna go, the one that you guys all know about. The deep cool genome, chilling right there. So there's a bunch of stuff just kind of scattered everywhere. It's all over the place, but this is the this is the new home for the next year, roughly. So uh, it's gonna be a lot of wiring, like I said, a lot of, I guess, kind of tinkering with things, seeing where I like what. I'm gonna get a gaming chair from somebody, I don't know. I have a chair that's not a swivel chair that I'll use for now. But uh, the point is, I'll be able to just game on this one here. So 1440p at 144 hertz with a Pixio monitor, and then edit and render on the ultra wide because I think ultra wides are better for for that kind of thing. So let's get to wiring. I guess you guys are going to see a time lapse video of how this is coming together, and uh, hopefully it pays off in the end. Maybe run some LEDs on the bottom back side of those. So we have like a nice little hue on the bottom. Uh, yeah, a lot planned for this. We're going to get a lot of it done today, but. We're still gonna have a lot to go, so here we go. So I think I'm finally finished, at least with this corner of the room over here. Uh, if you saw my last video about the Aki keyboard, then you've already kind of seen this whole setup, but I wanted to show you in a first person kind of perspective, what's going on with the new setup and the new room, the new apartment. So what happened was I, I moved back to Louisiana because I go to school at the University of Louisiana at Lafayette. So I had to drive from Florida to here a couple of days ago and I've been moving in for the last three or four days. I've been kind of putting things off, working on videos and whatnot. Uh, so it's still very messy, but I'm still gonna show you guys the full, the full place because uh, I promise you that and I'm sure you guys are a bit curious. So. Let's go ahead and start off with this room. That's of course what you've seen. Um, I kind of pulled that. I pulled that in from from in the living room, but uh, that's just a, kind of an end table nightstand is what I'm going to turn it into. There's my bed that I did not make up this morning. Uh, this was actually a part of a bookshelf that I well not really bookshelf. It was actually part of a a dresser I guess, and that was on top of it. But I moved the dresser into here uh, because I needed space for the desk. So that's where we're kind of, yeah, it's empty right now, but it will be full a couple of days. Let's see, there we go. And yeah, you don't really care about that. Now, the rest of this room uh, isn't that interesting. There's just storage under there. A couple boxes won't be there uh, in a few days. Got a little bookshelf here on the side. That's nice. I'm going to put something down there. I don't know what yet. My uh, Xbox One controller. Check this out. Another thing I wanted to show you. Now the cable management with this with this desk that I showed you a bit earlier is actually decent. Um, you can run pretty much every cable that you want down the inside of this thing. As long as it's pressed up against a wall, you won't have to worry about seeing those cables. It is quite crammed back there. So if I pulled the desk forward, I'm sure all those cables would just start spilling out. Uh, but cable management, 
in this desk anyway is, is pretty phenomenal, and especially considering how much we have funneling down the back of the desk here. So yeah, you can see that's kind of dark, but all that going into that one. I do have a few things coming into, well, yeah, two things coming into that one. Uh, and then I have my subwoofer here, part of that Dell surround sound system. Again, I have no idea what the model name or number is of this thing. I know a few of you have been asking me about that center console, but this is all one big unit, it's just some Dell 5.1 system. And I have the other two speakers right there and there for when I'm just laying in bed watching TV and stuff. So that's pretty much that. I did take, it's, it's kind of a, a ghetto little setup here, but I took some uh, styrofoam and I kind of wedged it up in here. And this is what's propping up the cables because uh, otherwise they'd be running on the floor. And so this was my way of getting rid of that. Temporary, it's not gonna last very long, I'm sure. Uh, but I guess when that day comes, I'll, I'll address it. So let's move on from this room. Gonna get you one more good look at that. Yep, that's kind of the room at this point. Let's swivel on into the living room. Still a big mess, but spacious. There's a lot to do with it. Uh, you can see we have like a nice little, I guess, high chair set up here for eating and whatnot. That's a balcony, by the way, but you can't see anything out of it because there's nothing but a tree right in the way. Yeah, that's a stellar view. And swinging on around. Oh, that's this is my uh, my, my surround sound, home theater surround sound system. So a Polk 10 inch subwoofer. I have a Klipsch Quintet 5.0 uh, surround sound system. That's the center. I have a left there. <laughs> it's not an ideal setup. I don't have enough cable currently to run around the room. Uh, and then my front, right that's my yeah that's my back right <laughs> it's still in the front and then the uh, back left is over here on top of the top of the desk and uh, my brother's room he's he's pretty cool he's a really cool kid oh yeah yeah what game am i playing yeah what game's he playing does he does he ball up on dodo 24 7 yes he does folks here's his improv curtain because <laughs> this apartment doesn't come with curtains, so he like wrapped it around the blinds. I guess that, that works, it's very uh, patriotic of him. Let's swing on back to the living room for just one second. Uh, so this TV here is a 240 hertz, I know that's TV uh, terminology, but it's a an effective 240 hertz refresh rate 1080p TV from Vizio. This is not the same one uh, that I reviewed a few days ago with McLovin, the 55 inch. That one wouldn't fit on this countertop and because we can't really do anything about the furniture in here, I had to go with the 50 inch. This receiver down here is a Pioneer receiver, 140 watts to five different channels. So I think, what is that? Do the math somebody. It's like 700 watts. Is that, is that right? Or times 20, yep, 700 watts. So that's a 700 watt uh, roughly receiver and uh, you're getting 140 watts per channel, and these are rated for 275 watts a piece, so plenty of headroom. This is really messy. I really need to do something about all this stuff. Uh, one other thing I wanted to address, I wanna hear what you guys have uh, su suggestion-wise for, for, for this, because this is really annoying. Um, what I did last time I lived in a place like this, uh, in some old videos, you can check out like here, that's a video of me in the old place. Uh, what I did was I took this whole thing, this, this stand microphone kit, and I ran it on top of this, and this was on top of that dresser in the closet. So this was already super high, and I could just kind of let it hang over my head, and uh, it could still, you know, most of the time be out of the shot. Well, in this case, because the desk is, is low, I mean, I can still fit my knees and stuff under it, but it's still pretty low. The, <laughs> and because of how far away my computer is from the edge of the desk, I, I don't have enough cable to, to route this um, ergonomically, so it's just kind of hanging there. And on top of that, this this isn't this just isn't going to work. I don't like this setup here. That's that's no that's no good for me. I want it high. I like it. That's supposed to be high, hanging overhead, or down low. But I don't I don't like using that stand. What am I going to use it on when I'm facing that way? So uh, that's a problem. Another thing I want to uh, I guess ask for suggestions about is the 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 acoustic problem. So if you watch the Aki keyboard video. You knew my audio was was pretty pretty dank. Uh, I was echoing all over the place, and that is thanks mostly to these lead painted walls. So these lead walls have basically zero absorption properties, and so does the ceiling, which is also coated with the same stuff. And then laminate floors. So yeah, this whole thing is just a big old echo cube, and that really is not conducive to satisfactory audio. So folks, I wanna hear from you, some suggestions. I know you can buy the sound foam 
the sound dampening foam you can put everywhere. Um, I can't push stuff into these walls though. I can't nail anything in. This is saying I'm just renting this. It's like a lease. So I can't I can't damage these walls. If I did, I'd have to cover it up somehow. I don't want to take that chance. So I need some other suggestions. Maybe like, I mean, I don't care if it's super sketchy, whatnot, just like hanging blankets on the ceiling and walls, whatever. Uh, just give me some feedback. Let me know what you think I should do to fix that issue. It doesn't sound too bad right now with the camera mic because I'm so close to it. Uh, but when I'm further away, from this Blue Yeti right here, it, it creates a problem. So uh, I think that's it. I think that's that's pretty much everything that you guys would be interested in seeing. Um, I can give you a tour of the campus later on if you want. This is this is UL. I mean, it's it's not a big campus. It's not like LSU, but uh, it is a nice campus in kind of the middle of nowhere. It rains every other day. It rained today. It rained yesterday, and it rained pretty much the whole week before that. The Louisiana floods were pretty pretty severe so uh if there's anything else that i didn't show you that you're interested in seeing let me know and i can put that in another video um i do have like okay that's kind of like my storage section down there uninteresting but so you know the massive pile of boxes i had in my my bedroom back home that's kind of where this this is now this all these boxes are a part of that i did get rid of a lot of the parts but not all of them so that's kind of what you're seeing the leftovers of right there i'll use some of them and i'll probably give some of them away i don't know but uh that's that's it Folks, let me know what you think about the video, let me know what you think about the new setup, and be sure to stay tuned for some, some pretty good stuff we got coming your way. We have a really good PC build, actually almost entirely sponsored by companies for the first time ever. Uh, I'm very fortunate enough to be able to do that. Uh, now, thanks to all of you, all your support. So, we need to prove to them that we are a growing community, folks. Be sure to do everything you haven't already done in the video. If you haven't subscribed already, do that. Um, I don't know if you dislike the video. I guess I can't stop you from disliking it. But, come on. That setup right there, folks. That, mmm. Yep. So far, so good. This is Science Studio. Thanks for... You didn't really learn much. Well, you did. Actually, you did. Yeah, you learned... You learn about where I was living and all the new stuff I got going on. So, uh, yeah, thanks for learning with us.